Today we will study about computer memory. What is a computer memory? A computer memory is just like a human brain. It is the basic unit where data and instructions are stored temporarily. Memory consists of one or more chips on the motherboard. So computer memory is the storage space in computer where data is to be processed and instructions required for processing are stored. Memory units. Just like solids are measured in grams or kilograms and liquids are measured in liters or milliliters. Similarly, the computer memory can be measured in bits or bytes. A computer processes and stores data and instruction in the form of two digits, 0 and 1. These digits are called the binary digits or bits. A bit is the smallest unit of information that a computer can process and store. A group of 4 bit is known as nibble. And we know that a group of 8 bit is called byte. A byte is the minimum space required to store a character. The table given below shows units of memory and their equivalents. So one byte is equal to one character. One kilobyte KB is equal to 1024 bytes, which is about 1000 characters. One megabyte MB is equal to 1024 kilobyte, which is about 1 million characters. One gigabyte GB is equal to 1024 megabyte, which is about 1 billion characters. One terabyte TB is equal to 1024 gigabyte, which is about 1 trillion characters. One petabyte TB is equal to 1024 terabyte, which is about 1 quadrillion characters. One exabyte EB is equal to 1024 petabyte, which is about 1 quintillion characters. One zettabyte ZB is equal to 1024 exabyte, which is about 1 sextillion characters. One yottabyte YB is equal to 1024 zettabyte, which is about 1 septillion characters. Types of memory. Computer memory is divided into two types primary memory and secondary memory. Primary memory is also known as working memory or main memory. Primary memory is of two types, volatile memory and non-volatile memory. When computer's power is turned off, volatile memory loses its contents and non-volatile memory does not lose its contents when the computer is turned off. RAM that is random access memory is a volatile memory. ROM that is read only memory is non volatile memory. Secondary memory. It stores data for a long time. It is also known as non volatile memory or backup memory. Some examples are hard disk, compact disk, pen drive. Random access memory. It is also called main memory, consists of memory chips that can be read from and written to by the processor and other devices. RAM is a volatile memory. It loses its contents when the computer is turned off. For this reason, you must save the items you may need in the future. Therefore, saving is the process of copying items from RAM to hard disk. And more the RAM, the faster the computer will respond. RAM can accommodate multiple programs and applications simultaneously. You can see here, this is the RAM, random access memory. How program instructions transfer in and out of RAM? So here you can see step one, when you start the computer, certain operating system files are loaded into RAM from hard disk. 
and then the operating system displays the user interface on the screen. Step two, when you run a browser, the application instructions are loaded into RAM from hard disk. The browser and certain operating system instructions are now in RAM chip. The browser window appears on the screen. You can see here browser window. Step three, when you run MS Paint program or MS Word program, the program's instructions are loaded into RAM from hard disk. The Paint program along with the browser and certain operating system instructions, they are now in RAM. The Paint program window or your MS Word window now also appears on the screen. Step five, four. When you exit an application, like such as the browser or paint program or uh, MS Word program, its instructions are removed from the RAM. They goes back into the hard disk. The browser now no longer is displayed on the screen. Types of RAM. There are three types of RAM chip. First is dynamic RAM, DRAM, static RAM, SRAM, magnetoresistive RAM, AMRAM. DRAM, it is inexpensive and the most popular type of main memory used in computers. So many variants of DRAM chips exist, most of which are faster than the basic DRAM. So here you can see various variants of DRAM. First is SDRAM, synchronous DRAM. It is faster and more reliable than DRAM. Next is DDR SDRAM, that is double data rate SDRAM. It is faster than SDRAM. Next is DDR2, it is a second generation of DDR with faster speed. Then is DDR3, it is a third generation of DDR, it is faster than DDR2. Next is DDR4. It is the fourth generation of DDR, which is faster than the DDR3. Next is RDRAM, that is RAM bus DRAM. It is much faster than SDRAM. Now static RAM. It is efficient and fast, but it is very expensive. Magnetoresistive RAM. It is a newer type of RAM, which stores data using magnetic charges instead of electrical charges. So, AMRAM has greater storage capacity, it consumes less power, and it has faster access time than other RAMs. AMRAM also retains its content even after computer is switched off. ROM, read-only memory. This is the read-only memory. ROM is a non-volatile memory. Its contents are not lost when the computer is turned off. Data on ROM chips cannot be modified. Therefore, the name is given read-only memory. ROM contains BIOS, basic input-output system, which is a sequence of instructions the computer follows to load the operating system and other files when you first turn on the computer. Types of ROM. First is programmable read-only memory, that is PROM. So PROM chip is a blank ROM chip on which you can place items permanently. Programmers use microcode instructions to program a PROM chip. Next type is erasable programmable read-only memory, EPROM or APROM. It is another type of ROM on which its contents are erased by ultraviolet light and then those contents are reprogrammed. Next type of ROM is electrically erasable programmable read-only memory that is EEP ROM. It allows a programmer to erase the microcode with an electrical signal. Secondary memory. It is used to store data for a long time. It operates at a slower rate than primary memory. 
this memory is permanent in nature that is data stored is not lost even when the computer is switched off so it is also known as non volatile memory or backup memory examples of secondary memory are hard disk drive compact disk flash drive cache memory it is a temporary storage area for instructions and data that enhances the cpu speed most of today's computers improve their processing time with cache cache memory improves the processing speed of the computer because it stores frequently used instructions and data cache is built directly in the processor chip so when the processor needs an instruction or data it first searches cache if it does not locate the item in cache then it searches ram if the instruction or data is not found in the memory then it must search in a slower speed storage device such as hard disk or cd rom this is all about computer memory thank you